Women in the FACO division have united to raise their voices and work tirelessly until everyone can live with dignity, respect and freedom from fear as regards violence against women. This was during the launching of the 16 days activism to end gender-based violence. For this year, invest to prevent violence against women and girls is the keynote. Simply means that we should put hands on them, be it our energy, be it our time, be it our finances, so that Women, wherever they are found, they should understand what are their rights. And they should know that if at all those rights are violated, there are people standing for them. They should come to the divisional delegation of women's empowerment and the family, to civil society organizations that are doing, dealing with this, uh, fighting this social ills. They should come. The launching of activities by the United Sisters Association alongside other human rights groups was presided at by the divisional delegate of the Ministry of Women Empowerment and the family who called on women not to remain silent but speak out. Married for over 20 years, Mrs. Fongfu advised women not to sit idle while in their matrimonial homes but empower themselves by starting up little businesses. They should not come into a marriage and just hold their hands and sit because what creates tension in many marriages is finances. It's, um, maybe the man is overstressed because the woman is um, not contributing, she's not doing anything to support the family. A series of activities will be carried out from November 25th to December 10th within the 16 days activism against GBV. Activism. One important thing that we'll be doing throughout these 16 days would be sensitization. As you see, we already finished with the uh, advocacy work today. Tomorrow, we are going to be in different institutions, starting with the Seca Baptist College here in Limbe, and we are going to move to a second uh, primary and a nursery school in Busumbu, you know, to sensitize these children. The United Sisters called on the government to do more to punish perpetrators as well as enact stricter laws that can go a long way to protect women and children from being victimized. The launching campaign was punctuated with a free medical screening on blood sugar levels and malaria.